I'm saying it with all seriousness. Something must be restored for you. I don't know what you have lost, but a recovery is taking place. A restoration is taking place. I say a recovery is taking place. We are going to lift up our voice and we are going to say, Father, for the blessings you are restoring for me, I thank you. Because your hand is not short, because you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I ask or think, I thank you for your hand of restoration. You say you will restore. You will restore. You are not a liar. You will restore. You are not a liar. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. After this prayer tonight, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, forcefully, craftily, they will be forcefully restored. I see anyone holding your blessing, surrendering them by fire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever is behind your misfortune, vengeance will strike them this night. Vengeance will hit them this night. Whoever is sponsoring an arrow of affliction upon your head, their arrow is going back right now today. Every property of the devil that has been deposited in your body, in your destiny, in your family, today it is going back to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please get seated. We are going to read some key scriptures before we go down. Joel chapter 2 verse 25 to verse 27. I and I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the cat, canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I send among you. Verse 26 And you shall eat in plenty. I should borrow you my own amen. And you shall eat in plenty. And you shall eat in plenty. And be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. That has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Any area of your life that is experiencing shame, today the power behind it will be aborted. Verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, LFC Refid, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know. Which means I will prove a point. God will prove his almightiness in your life. If you are saying amen, make that amen better. I say again, God will prove his almightiness in your life. I say again, God will prove his almightiness in your life. And ye shall know. Isaiah 42 verse 22. But this is a people 
robbed and spoiled. You know, we have made this scripture spoil in Jeremiah 30. All they that spoil thee shall be for what? A spoil. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver it. And for a spoil and none say it restore. Today your enemy must give up. Amen. Father, the, the pattern of Sunday is very dangerous. Devouring the devourer, spoiling your spoiler. <laughs> That service is a, is a loaded service. And none say it restore. Jesus said in John chapter 10, the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you might have. You will have it back that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Whatever the devil has stolen from you, today restoration must take place. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Faith is fiery when it comes to restoration and recovery. There is no gentle faith in this kingdom. If you have gentle faith, you cannot experience recovery. Every recovery that must be executed by faith must be on the platform of violence. So it is my faith that determines what will be recovered. Faith gives value to grace. And when faith goes to work, grace is released. What must be restored? We must know what we need to be restored, what restoration is, so that we really know what we are talking about. First of all, what is restoration? Restoration is recovery of what is lost or stolen. Your time can be stolen. When your time is stolen, your life is stolen. Because life is tied to time. And once your time is stolen, you are behind schedule in life. You are behind schedule in destiny. You miss opportunities. You miss encounters. You miss favor. Why? Once your time is stolen because of the opportunities, the encounters you miss, you miss the people that should have advanced your life. No wonder God told them, I will restore to you the years. The years. They were in captivity for 430 I will restore to you the years. They were in bondage, carried into slavery, subjected to heart torture, torture and pressure. As scripture says, and God remembered his covenant. That restoration answered by favor. He said, when you go, you shall not go empty. I will give you favor. Now there is a dimension of favor that brings about recovery of areas of blessings. And that was the kind of favor God gave to them. Favor is in dimensions. I will restore to you the years. Now hear me. I'd like you to know that there are spiritual locusts. There are spiritual caterpillars. They don't eat bread and moi moi. They eat time and age. When they eat your time, they have eaten your life. Some sisters are delayed in marriage. The devil is feasting on your destiny. He's feasting on your time. For this is a people robbed and spoiled. 
Do you know that some of the people that are not married now is people in church that are spoiling them? I'm telling you, I'm pastor. Professional blackmailers. Some, they will even follow them to the church. They are not members. They will just follow them to the church. Witchcraft. Just to make sure that they spoil. But whoever your spoiler is, home and abroad, within and without, vengeance will touch them. When the devil eats your time, you can be delayed in an office. They are promoting your mates. You are there. When it is time, your file is missing. The devil is at work. Your time can be stolen. It will create a setback. Your honor can be stolen. It will, it will create a setback. Once your honor is stolen, you don't meet important people. You meet non-entities. Once your honor is stolen, you don't meet your destiny helpers. You are, you are far from them. They are far from you. But God said, I will restore. Amen. Every restoration from God goes with areas. Now your wealth also can be stolen. How is wealth stolen? Now, witchcraft has gone high tech. You remember we did some dangerous mysteries sometime? Somebody can just collect 1,000 from your hand innocently and you are thinking that you are doing the person a favor. Not to know they say, I don't get you today. What they do, they lock you up in the coven. And before you know what's happening, the person will be walking like elephant and be eating like an ant. But whoever has used your money, <laughs> you see this one? Is going as a spiritual magnet. It will recover all of your money. Wherever they tied you, tied your money, I command a release for you today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You collect my money to come home. Everybody in your family is in trouble. Because my own pattern of prayer, everybody must share. If it's vengeance, everybody must do what? Share. They collected one man's money. <laughs> he was even doing strong head to come for prayer. The man had haulage trucks. These haulage trucks that go to seaports to carry fish. Many. All of a sudden, he started selling one by one, one by one, one by one. He no get one now. It's the boys he trained now, the ones that are giving him feeding money. And he was still doing gara gara. Do you know his problem? His problem is that uh, anytime he's going to village, you just carry plenty of money. You call this one, you give one bond. You call this one, you give one bond. You call this one, you give one bond. He didn't know that the people you were giving, they say, we don't get you today, brother. He was wrecked to the floor. When I mean to the floor. Hear me? Look at me very well. I'm your pastor. If I give you instruction, follow. If you, do, if you don't follow, you will remember me someday. Even when I go to village, I give anybody money. The money I give you carry anointing on you. Know. You try and you die. Which no get pity. So when they want to do you, they don't have pity. So even when I'm giving them, I'm telling my money carry all you know. I tell I let them know my money carry all you. Do you know why? The person talking with you can be smiling with you. 
but it can be the one they want to use to reach you. I let you know my money carry oil. So if you try, you die. They locked him up for the first time in his life. He cried. When you see a grown man cry, you're going to say something, don't touch him. So after that day, before you know what's happening, he became serious in prayer. Became serious in prayer. One of his boys, now manager, and gave him one truck so that he can start. So, please, let's be serious with God. Are you wrong saying now? God cannot be on a mission of recovery for you when you are not serious with your Christian life. He said, the Lord is with you while you are with him. If you forsake him, he will also do what? Forsake you. He said, for a long time, Israel was without a true God and without a teaching priest. And a great vexation was upon the people. A great... Do you know that poverty grieves? Poverty can fuel anger. Poverty can cause high blood pressure. <laughs> if you are used to having money and all of a sudden now, not in the flow again, <laughs> your anger temperature will be high. <laughs> so whatever is fighting your money is fighting your life. Oh, you don't know? Lack of money can cause sickness. Hear me, I said so. Lack of money can cause sickness. Too much money can bring joy. You must get too much money. Today, any coven where they have taken your money to, fire will catch their altar. So there will be financial restoration. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, hold no back. So whoever is holding what belongs to you back, they will surrender by fire. The enemy can steal your joy. Scripture says, and joy is withered from the sons of men. When joy is withered, nothing works. If you lose your joy, you lose vitality. I'm talking of physical vitality. And Papa said, there is a level of excitement you need to succeed. Success is tied to excitement. A merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a dry spirit crushes the bone. No wonder David said, restore to me the joy of my salvation. You can't be bitter and be better. If you lose your joy, you have lost, hear me? You have lost a major hormone. Joy is our spiritual hormone for action. Why? With joy shall you draw waters out of the well of salvation. If you lose your joy, you are in trouble. I tell you, don't allow anybody to steal your joy. You can't thief my own. I fight you first and protect my own. So your joy is very, very important. You must protect your joy. Guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. The thief comets but to steal. Anytime Satan wants to steal your joy, he comes subtly. He comes subtly. He comes in a very subtle manner and steal it. When you wake up, you frown your face. You sleep, you are frowning your face. In the dream, you are frowning your face. You know, some people are still angry in the dream. <laughs> when they wake up, the anger continues. Satan has collected their joy. May you not lose your joy. And in case he has collected your rope, <laughs> today your joy must be restored. <laughs> to let you know how important it is. If you are not joyful, you can't serve God. Quote me. If you are not joyful, 
Eh? You can be in church. You can't serve God. You will be frowning your face. Let pastor just do quick and go. I want to just take communion and go. I just came. But David cried, Restore to me the joy of my salvation. When your joy is lost, the place you used to occupy in God is faded. I was glad when they say, come, let us go to the house of the Lord. Do you know what? Some people that are not excited coming to church, they have lost their joy. When you are comfortable staying outside church, you have lost your joy. Some service can be going on, they will just drive and pass. They have lost their joy. But you know how God normally bring them back? You allow Satan to give them one blow. One blow of problem. <laughs> they will be looking for Monday and Friday prayer. We will be saying, Die by fire! <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't wait for when Satan gives you blow before you go remember prayer. I was glad when they say, Come, let us go to the house of the Lord. A day I spend in your court is more than a thousand years outside. When Satan steal your health, you are close to death. To fear. Permit me to say this. Health is not only wealth. Health is life. You know, we just stay and forget most of the great, good things God is doing for us. They're not giving me car. They're not giving me contract. <laughs> the psalmist say, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all of his benefits. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget, all, forget not all of his benefits. Who has redeemed our life from destruction. Who has healed our diseases. If you have visited the hospital one day. And see people that, has, that they are begging to eat. I eat now. Just eat one spoon. Eat one for JJ. Eat one for Sissy. Eat one for Daddy. Eat one for Mommy. Okay, eat another one. Eat another one. They are begging them to what? Eat. But you, you have some people have even eaten more than four times today. Am I saying the truth? There are some people to urinate. Any time it comes to urinating, they will start to cry. Because of their pains they go through. They will start to cry. They will start to cry. There was one young man we went to pray for the other day. I was angry in my spirit. I prayed for him in December. He got healed. Immediately we finished praying. I even, we even called Paul Lenenche. He prayed for him after we. And I said I should take the oil and I rub his back. And I prayed again. As I was about leaving. The Holy Ghost said, there are people here reinforcing his attack. I just called his Abra Abra. I said, you people are stupid. You behave as if you know security. You don't know security. They don't plant witchcraft for you to, to be sending information to know whether when he has recovered and when he's... I said, scatter all of them from this place. You know, you can't know such things if you are not in the spirit. You can never know it. And as I was coming out, the Holy Ghost said, look at one of them. I just quickly called the brother. I said, tell your boss, this person should be out of this place. Do you know what they are doing? After he has recovered, they will still carry his 
his name to the coven and wire him again. Whoever is taking your name to coven, I submit their family to coven. I withdraw your name, I replace their name. The affliction, the desire for you, let it answer against them. After we finish praying, yesterday I heard that he's already blasting food everywhere. <laughs> health is wealth. If you don't value your health, you won't fulfill your ultimate destiny. God said, I will bring you health and cure. So if you are missing health, cure day for you. I will restore the yes. I will restore. I will restore. And he said, and ye shall know. Which means, I will prove it to you. Even if your faith is not strong enough. He said, prove it, Lord. Prove it. And ye shall know. The meaning of you shall know. Even if you, are, you don't have enough faith to carry what I want to do. He said, I will prove it to you. I will prove it to you. I will prove it to you. And ye shall know. And ye shall know that I am. I am. I am. Today God's hand of restoration will show for you. God also can restore progress. Stagnation is an enemy of destiny because it slows down accomplishment. It slows down your time of arrival. It slows down what will come to pass for you. Stagnation is when Satan has put a load on you. Instead of galloping like a horse, you are now crawling like a snake. But he said, fear, now, fear, thou, fear thou not, thou warm Jacob. Thou warm Jacob. Is anybody bearing Jacob here? Fear thou not, thou warm Jacob, for I will help you. When God help a worm, he will not crawl again. He will be flying. Every progress you have lost, I pray for you that after tonight, there will be restoration. There will be recovery. Another thing that must be need restore is glory. Family glory. Destiny glory. Career glory. Losing glory is embracing shame. Losing glory is to be clothed with reproach. It's possible to see shame and reproach. It's also possible to see glory. Glory talks about the goodness of God. The blessings of God. The favor of God in and around your life. Anytime you lose glory, it's like there is a departure of his presence. A departure of the fullness of the presence of God. But God said, I will restore. I will restore. I will restore. Amen. Hear me? You can imagine it coming. You can expect it coming. I will restore. When God says I will restore, that thing will definitely come to pass. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I will restore. I will restore. Restoration also brings about renewal and renovation. Renewal and renovation. If you have been privileged to see a house they are renovating, I hope you know to renovate a house costs much more. It's like you are starting afresh.
So restoration is like reinforcement of everything that the devil robbed you of. But I want you to hear this. Every restoration answer to the word of his power. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary shall not be able to resist nor can say and none say it. So restoration goes with saying I said to one go and he go and to another go. You hear me? If you must see restoration you must be forceful. You must be what? I like the way Bishop Abiyah puts it. If you insist, the devil cannot resist. If you do what? Insist. The devil cannot do what? Resist. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor do what? Against him. Why? You must speak the word that the devil cannot resist. If you check, if, if you have been following up on all of our prayers, 70% of our prayers is vengeance against the adversaries of the growth of this church. Don't tell me God is not hammering them. Likewise for your life, if you don't engage the violent dimension. The enemy will not give up. He will not give up. He will not give up. He said, this person is never serious. Man, I keep her in one place. But the day you bring out your 1% madness, the devil will advise himself. Taking the shield of faith, whereby you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts. It's time to silence your troublers. It's time to silence your tormentors. It's time to silence the strong man holding your blessing. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Everywhere faith goes, God's hand is stretched. God's hand is not stretched when faith is not released from the heart. Some say it with their head, not from their heart. Restoration answers on the power of the word. As soon as they hear of me, they shall submit themselves unto me. Oh, I won't forget. Let me, I think I just remember something now. I just came out from our church our uh, worry office when Pastor Jimmy was there. So I was rushing back. So I came at a full roundabout. The taxi I wanted to enter, my phone just fell. And Okada man just picked it. So I just noticed that my phone has fallen out. So I told the driver, can I have your phone? I used the phone to call. He said, I should come and meet him somewhere. He said, I called him again. He said, I should just forget the phone. I should just forget the phone. I said to him, if I be a man of God, me and you will meet this night. <laughs> that was the only thing I told him. I said, if I be a man of God, me and you will meet this night. And I meant it. That was when Operation Koboko started. I lie not on this altar. I went back home. I don't know the picture or the face of who was talking to me. I only heard his voice. So I was speaking against his voice. I said, Holy Ghost, Koboko, I cannot lose my foe. And he has bragged for me. Wherever this man is, angels of God, Go with the koboko. Smite him. I was doing like, I was flogging him in the. I was praying the prayer. I was sweating. I said, Lord, prove to me that you have anointed me. 
Holy Ghost Koboko descend upon this man. He must surrender. It was a Friday. Before we will wake up on Saturday morning, the foolish boy called. Oga, come collect this phone. Oh. I don't know which kind of phone I go hold and go to beat me for night. I said, where are you there? He said, meet me by Classica. PTI Road. We drove in the morning. Seeing with his Okada. I've not come down. He has already need her. Take. 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 So I was giving him one thousand. I said, I don't want. Whoever is holding your team. Today they must surrender. I said today they will surrender. It's the restoration of all things. So no matter where the thing is, they will surrender it today. After I collected my phone, I said, Oga, who be you? <laughs> I said, Shabi, I tell you, sir, I'll be pastor. I said, what did you see yesterday night? Now, what did they call Holy Ghost Koboko? <laughs> I tell you tonight, I came with a heart to enforce somebody's release. Somebody's promotion letter will be released. Somebody's marriage will be released. The witch that vowed you will not marry will die this night. If you are saying amen, say better amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. One deacon told me that uh, he will show me that uh, they are the founding members of this church. pointed his hand at my face. He said, I will remove you. I just laughed. <laughs> if I love that laugh for you, you are in trouble. For the first time, I cried. I said, me? It's okay. God bless you. That God bless you is trouble day for you. By the time I go back home, I refuse to eat. The kind of flogging he got that night, the wife was the one that drove, if you see his face, the wife was the one that drove and brought him in the morning. Pastor, Forgive. I say forgive. Pastor Wekobio, Pastor, forgive. <laughs> I tell you something. They were the cannibals caging the church. When I mean cabals, their own is now cannibals. But after that time, I made sure he does not sit at my back. I said, go and sit in the overflow. That's where your punishment starts. He didn't recover. One morning, the Holy Ghost said, release him. And I carry anointing oil. was rubbing his body. I said, in your life, if you messed up all the pastors that passed through here, take note. This is your last warning. The next one, you will enter Emirates airline. He became over lawyer. <laughs> Should I tell you something? The stubborn man fighting you. Yes. Today is their turn. Yes. In fact, the evangelism he has never done for that church before. Any person that asks for that, come and meet my pastor. <laughs> Come and meet my pastor. If my pastor pray for you, you will recover. 
<laughs> Everybody rest their feet. I don't know who is holding your blessing. But mark it this night. Their hands will do like this. They will surrender. I said they will surrender. You have seven minutes to pray this prayer. Restoration of all things. Even if the thing is hard for you to say, forget every other thing. Focus on that thing. This area of my life must be restored. Do you know why? Let's read the scripture. Isaiah 14, verse 24 and verse 27. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have taught, so shall it come to pass. As I have proposed, so shall it stand. Verse 27 now. For the Lord of hosts has proposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Nobody can turn God's hand of restoration. So anything you are calling now to be restored must come to pass in your life. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. As this oil come upon you, the angels, the fire of restoration answer in every area of your life. Any part of your body that has been attacked by witchcraft, I decree healing and recovery for you. Stood up with the prayer. Father, I place a demand on your hand of restoration to answer in every area of my life. I place a demand on your hand of restoration. I place a demand on your hand of restoration. I place a demand on your hand of restoration. I place a demand on your hand of restoration. To answer in every area of my life, I place a demand on your hand of restoration. Every canker worm and caterpillar devoured my blessing. Devouring my glory. I command your destruction by fire. I command your destruction by fire. Every canker worm and caterpillar devouring my blessing, devouring my glory, devouring my progress, devouring my words. I command your destruction by fire. Zikuketola, Empede, Erodo, Zunata, Belako. Lord Jesus, arise for my total recovery. Shegola rabado zelede, inzolada rabada bada bada bada. Shekuta liakata, empra de dele kuzuzunata. Any kovum power assigned to devour my health, devour my glory. Ah, laga laga daga daga da. Scatter by thunder. Scatter by fire. Any covenant power. Any covenant power. Wherever you are located. North, south, east and west. Assigned to devour my head. Devour my glory. Devour my blessing. Scatter by thunder. Scatter by fire. Scatter by thunder. Scatter by fire. Scatter by thunder. Scatter by fire. Oh, you wicked personality. Sponsoring arrows of affliction. Your time is up. Die! 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 By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire, by fire, lekoto zilo to 
Ilekete rutatata. Reshi kato and peberoto and nato and kligo jerusi neko kale paretale zitota. Kovun powers as I to devour my head, my glory, my family, my blessings scatter. Ingolodo, Ingolodo, Zula, Gada, 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 Pelotare, Shitopa, and Zedetero, Eco Prali, Aleta, Naketo, Zinotete, Pedodo, Ragagagagaga, Father, I place a demand on your hand of restoration. To answer in every area of my life, you say you will restore. You are not a liar. Show yourself. Show yourself. Holy Ghost, go back. Arise for me. Flood that man. Flood that woman. Flood that man. Flood that woman. Whoever is holding anything that belongs to me, whoever is fighting any blessing that belongs to me, Holy Ghost, Koboko, look at them now. Smite them. 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 La cotoriate. Shekuka. Prediate. In Nagaga. Zonododoro. Zenedere. In Kalata. Zoglopirate. Angels of God. Bring out your whip now. Locate every traveler. Locate every afflictor. Locate the wicked man. Lekataria. Angels of God. Bring out your koboko now. In the name of Jesus. Smite the wicked man. Smite the wicked man. Smite the wicked woman. Any wicked personality. On assignment to resist. On assignment to fight my blessing. Smite them. Smite them in the name of Jesus. Smite them in the name of Jesus. Smite them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil deposits. Fired into your body through dream, they will go out now. Don't know why this thought is coming. Whoever tied your manhood and caged you by wicked witchcraft powers, I break the spell in the name of Jesus. Lord, you did it for Pastor Paco. You also did it for Pastor Kyojo. Anyone here tied by occultic powers, vengeance fire hits the person now. This month of August, that wicked person will be laid to rest. I say it again. That wicked person will be laid to rest. Anyone that has vowed that what belongs to you will not enter your hand. Jehovah, you are the killer. I speak for let the dagger out for Yereko. Smite the person now. 
If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Since they have refused to surrender by choice, they will surrender by vengeance. Brutal vengeance. Irrecoverable vengeance. Answer in the camp of your captors now. And by the mystery silencer, as you partake of this communion, and the evil voice crying out against the blessing you are due for, they are silenced physically. They are silenced spiritually. They are silenced totally. If they fly this night, they will die in the air. If they turn as animal, they will die as animal. Any coven where they are mentioning your name, let thunder from heaven strike their altar. Kill their high priest now. In the name of Jesus. If not die, let them die. If not go low, let them go them, them, them. All I want is you. Father, thank you. Confirm your word. In Jesus' name. I command them to surrender by fire. In the name of Jesus, they surrender by fire. In the name of Jesus, they surrender by fire. In the name of Jesus, they surrender by fire. Wherever they have tied your name, tied your womb, tied your breakthrough, I decree, let fire catch their evil rope. I decree, let fire catch their evil rope. I decree, let fire catch their evil rope. I mobilize every angel of restoration to deliver every of your blessing. In the name of Jesus, they deliver them in a hurry. Before Sunday, someone will receive the good news. God just told me now, a witch behind your matter will run mad. Wherever that witchcraft personality is, run mad by fire! If you are saying a man say better ever, as this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, favor for restoration. Favor for restoration. Amen. Not south, east, and west. Whatever belongs to you, favor will be compelling them to bring it back. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. Whatever belongs to you, favor compel them to deliver it back. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Favor. Favor. Bring back whatever belongs to you. Favor. Compel everything to be returned. Compel every blessing to be surrendered. They will surrender everything now. They will surrender your glory. They will surrender your honor. They will surrender your appointment letter. They will surrender your marriage. They will give up concerning your open door. The witch standing at the door of your breakthrough fall down and die. Say amen like a believer. Whoever is carrying your picture to coffins, whoever is carrying your picture to evil altar, die by fire. I command the killer angels to let them to rest. Say amen like a believer. You will have a new song. You will have a new song. Your joy will be restored. Your glory fully restored. Your finances fully restored. Do you know what? Monday will be a commotion prayer. Operation Andrew, everyone, surely. God.